this is Dennis from Sacramento Mustang. Today we're going to talk about rally packs. These are a nice aftermarket option you can put on your 64 to 66 Mustang. We have different options depending on V8, 6 cylinder, 6,000 RPM or 8,000 RPM applications. Um, let's take a little closer look and uh, see what we have to offer. Well before we get started, one quick note or point of interest about the rally packs we offer is that we actually offer two different styles. Not only for the different years, but actually we have a OE or concourse style version, and then a uh, aftermarket reproduction version. Both of them have their benefits. Uh, this one basically wires in just like an original style one, is factory marked with the Ford or the Mustang logos. This one, on the other hand, uh, doesn't have the Ford or Mustang logos in it. it. Does wire in a little more like a modern tack. In other words, you have a wire going directly off the coil opposed to this one that runs in line with your ignition wire. Now, the differences would be if you're running an aftermarket ignition system, say like a Petronix, uh, magnetic conversion, uh, or any kind of box like an MSD or what have you. If that is what you have in the car, then you'd want to lean towards these. Um, anything you modify in the ignition system like that actually screws up the signal just enough that they won't read accurate if you're running an original style one or the OE style one. Uh, the current unfortunately is just not strong enough so the needle just bounces right around about 1500 and doesn't do anything else than that. Now the Scott Drake one actually will work with again the Petronix or uh, Petronix distributors and so forth. If you're running an MSD uh, or anything that's multiple spark you may have to run a tack drive unit in line, which you can actually get um, through your local speed shop. Uh, let's take a little closer look at these two side by side and see where the other differences are for you. Looking at the face of these, really the only distinguishable difference between the two would actually be the Mustang logo on the tack face itself. You'll find on the Scott Drake unit or the reproduction version, uh, they are blank without any logos. However, the OEM concourse style one does retain that. Everything else that you uh, see on the face is almost identical. Just a little bit of difference in the clock. Um, the, actually, the Drake one is actually a little easier to read um, because it is a little more spread out. The concourse one is a lot more original looking or almost identical. As you can see on the back side of these, they're almost identical. The only difference being the wire feeds coming out due to the fact that each one interfaces into your dash just a little different. Both of them do come with all the under dash harness and adapters that you need to make these work. Uh, this particular one being the OE style one again is a direct plug-in. There's no splicing, um, nothing else is needed to put this in the car from its original form. This one actually installs relatively the same way as far as it also includes the extension wire and everything else to be a direct plug-in, but it's a little different than the original application. Uh, both units do come with their own wiring diagrams and instructions. Well, after choosing a original style or the reproduction version depending on your ignition system, the next thing you need to figure out is if you want a 6,000 RPM or an 8,000 RPM. Now the 6,000 RPM is what normally came standard on most 289 cars. The 8,000 RPM was reserved for the hypos being a solid mechanical cam. Next you have to figure out, are you looking for something that's original and all one color like this one on the right? Or also we do now have them available with the chrome eyebrows for 1965. These also come in colors to match for the interior. Uh, there is an additional charge to these, but we do have the factory colors available on a special purchase. After choosing that, the next thing to be concerned with is the actual year or style for your car. This is a 1965. This is considered the early style one. It has a half sweep on the tack. Uh, in 1966, uh, they went to a full sweep tack and went to what they considered the low profile unit and lost all the signias and so forth in the middle. Um, these will actually work on both years of cars. Uh, if you're running the full 5 gauge instrumentation or a deluxe interior setup, this actually will fit quite nicely in the car and won't hide any of the gauges. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of options for the rally packs. Each rally pack comes shipped with instructions, the full under dash harness to integrate into your factory harness. They all come with them attaching mounting hardware, 
Uh, this particular one is for this 1965. It's just a simple strap to hold to the column. 66 was a little better design, same strap, but it also comes with a bracket and a little extension to actually hide the wiring down the column. Nice little feature for 1966. Well, if you have any questions, uh, please give us a call at 916-484-3434.